Oh boy, Monday, baby. I love Mondays. Why do I love Mondays? Because the store is closed. Um, and that's kind of eye-opening for me. I look forward to Mondays because the store is closed. Why? Well, I don't know. It's just one less thing to worry about, you know? Like one less thing, one less phone call, one less... Just one less thing on my plate. Not that I don't love the store, I do, but I like just being left alone a little better. Uh, so I got the garage door open again. Sorry for all the noise. Uh, oh, on a positive note, the air conditioner works beautifully in here. Oh my God. That is $20,000 well spent. It made the whole warehouse just ah uh, so i mean we'll see what happens once it hits 90 to 100 degrees outside but for now beautiful 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 so plan of attack today is i'm gonna finish sorting all those commander decks and then we have uh more bulk to sort of course it's endless uh but Let's eat some breakfast, man. I'm freaking starving and uh, drink a bunch of energy drinks, get hopped up on caffeine and run around this bitch and uh, handle business. Normally, the first thing I do when I come in is, of course, I, you know, turn on the sorters and get another sort going, which you can hear Roka uh, pumping away. <clears throat> but then, because it's Monday and I don't have anyone to fulfill the eBay orders, we go in and do the eBay stuff that sold overnight, which was quite a bit. We did, uh, what did we do? 28 sales overnight. I mean, it's not really much right now because we just started building it again um, because of that whole like integration issue with Binder and everything like that. Uh, so we stepped away from doing the integration and we're handling it all ourselves. The reason why is just because I feel as though I get a better handle on it and when you're integrated you are ineligible for a top rated seller and all the you know boosts that come with um, search uh, when with that like with top being top rated seller so <clears throat> we became top rated seller pretty quickly because of you know our history but that's the reason why I stopped doing uh, the integration with binder just because I wanted to get a better handle on it myself uh, and pricing and everything like that because with Binder it gets integrated and sometimes pricing can get a little wonky especially with like the older stuff so I like to take a handle of that myself so overnight we had 28 sales which isn't bad uh, not the best but uh, some decent stuff sold a lot of some graded cards Earthbind, Bulk unlimited uh, circle protection any other graded cards sell so graded magic does sell so um you know for people that um think that it doesn't um it, it does it, it takes time but uh it sells <laughs> um so i want to go back to what I said before about the store being closed and how I'm happy that uh, I'm here and the store is closed. The reasoning behind that is nine times out of ten, like if I get a phone call from the store, it's about like a, it, it's about like a massive like Pokemon collection because the, the guy's, uh, the guy I, I employ at the store, he's not really a Pokemon expert. So... Nine times out of ten, he calls me, and he's like, hey, I got someone here to trade in a bunch of uh, base set stuff, some really cool, st really good stuff, and I'm just like, is it, though, or is it, like, beat up junk? But he doesn't know the difference, so I gotta go there, and when I get there, for, let me start off this. Base set isn't what it used to be two years ago during COVID. They're just rocks. They just sit. Barely anyone buys them. <clears throat> unless they're near mint and if they're near mint i'm gonna send them off to get graded myself so 
you know, it leaves the lower end stuff that people don't want in the store. It's just rocks. They're just sitting there. So I get there and, you know, there's always a guy, a, a, a metaphorical guy there with frickin' uh, his suitcase handcuffed to his wrist. I'm kidding, even though that did happen once. Uh, maybe I'll tell a story about that later, but I had to run in the back and laugh after he left. I, I couldn't. It was insane. But anyway, there's a guy there, and normally, <clears throat> you know, they value that base set shit way crazy because they're going off. A PSA 10 goes for this. A PSA 10 goes for that. And I'm just like, dude, you, this is, you have junk. It's junk. As I'm flipping through. I'm not saying that. In my mind, I'm just like, so, how you, you know, um, let them off easy is you're like, oh man, I don't have enough money in the store for this. Or I don't have enough money in general. This is such a big collection, impressive that, you know, I'm going to have to pass on this. Maybe try some other stores. Because I just can't. Because you could just tell by their body language and how they're presenting their, their cards to you that they think they're, they just want, they found their lotto ticket in life. And me, as a decent person, I really can't put into words that you don't have that. You have things that aren't going to sell very fast. Like right now, I have a, a Shadowless Charizard on eBay for like 900 bucks. I have people offering me like $500 on it. And it's pretty much near mint. So even the super sought after stuff like a Shadowless Charizard will still sit like a rock. Just because that's how it is. Unless it's put in plastic and there's a number on it. Then it'll sell. But whatever. So. That's what we do. We come here, check our orders. We got a decent amount overnight, uh, $497 in sales, which, you know, isn't really good, but not bad. Helps, you know? So we'll get that uh, packaged, prepped, shipped out, and uh, see what else the day brings. Jesus. One, one thing that I just realized is that eBay has a pack slip list that you can print out and it's literally all the cards in order of how they were ordered. I've been selling on eBay for four or five years and I've just realized this. Um, yeah, so that's cool. <clears throat> so anyway, we print out our, our labels. We have all of our shipping labels printed and this is my little weight that I use full of bulk cards to... Uh, you know, as I ship stuff, I pull the label and literally just pull it down and next order, please. So I'm pretty psyched about this uh, eBay pick list. I didn't know it was a thing. Uh, one thing that I will be getting, which is going to uh, really up our productivity in here, is I don't have a push cart for like our orders. So... It's literally, I'm just walking around. I usually do like one order at a time, I'll do it, and go back, ship it, go pull something, go over here, go. Now I'm gonna get a cart from Uline and I'll just be wheeling it around, collect all the orders first and then ship them. So that's a little bit of an efficiency hack right there. And another thing, this was sitting outside the store, uh, it got delivered. Uh, I took one for the store, but check out how cool this is. A fully full size resplendent angel card. The back is pretty cool too. It's awesome. So that's cool. I got one hanging up in the store and one uh, I'm gonna put up in here. That's my idea for up there. I'm gonna like put all like cool posters and like full size cards, uncut sheets, all that stuff up there be really cool so let's get this packed pulled and shipped so these cards can make their way to their uh, new homes all right let's do that so I don't think what the hell oh my god this wait hold on this looks different I think I hit a setting wrong this looks way better 
So, I don't think people realize exactly how much bulk we have here. Um, this is so weird. It looks like kind of GoPro-esque. Uh, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, I don't think people realize how much bulk we actually have. This is what is currently processed and listed on TC uh, not TCG Player, on eBay as 500 card Pokemon lots. Now, it's like a wall. And then all those right there, and all that, that's currently listed. Um, we still have um, this big cart to go through, fully sift and get out all the stuff right here. And we still have a big pile of stuff over here. This is all, I think those are reverse models. Oh geez, I should take a look at that. So that's a big giant, uh, I don't know, uh, thing full of hollows, reverse hollows that I need to go through. Um, and then this is our magic section. We have taken a little bit of a, a hit on it. Like, uh, we, we, uh, we did a little work over the past couple weeks, but man, one thing that I didn't take into account is those, I don't know, a few videos ago, I was uh, listing those 500 card lots with no duplicates. Wow. I did not take into account the popularity of them. They are selling, every day I sell like four or five uh, lots of those alone. So those were really good to, to do. <clears throat> Another thing that we did is um, the 100 card lots of commons for a specific color like black, blue, and everything like that. So those have been doing pretty decent as well. Pretty much all bulk on eBay has been doing phenomenal. So that's a good thing because uh, we pretty much have an endless supply. So we got to go through the rest of that Pokemon bulk. I really, I feel like every time I make a dent, another huge trade in comes so it's like it's almost endless it's like not even worth it to try to get ahead of it because you can't be read it like in all actuality you, you really can't you cannot get ahead of it it's endless 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 which is a good thing it's a great thing but it's just work 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 non-stop um one thing that i've really been considering is getting the, the roca max just because of uh, being able to run for three hours, 3,000 cards or four hours, I forget how long, but that's just so good. And just the reliability of that machine alone makes me not even like, I wouldn't even bat an eye with buying it because like, I know it's a quality machine. Like all, you know, newer machines that come out, you know, you have to be very careful because, you know, like any startup, it could be here one day, gone the next. So, um, yes, yeah, so I've been really considering the Roka Max. I just don't have space for it. Uh, but one thing that I am going to do is buy two hundred and thirty or two hundred forty thousand dollars worth of Magic cards right now. Let's go do it. Okay, so this right now is the single most expensive purchase I've ever made for my business. And here's the cart total. $215,000 worth of Modern Horizons 3. And that's not including another order I have with another distributor. This is scary. Mm. The good thing about being a person who owns his own business and, you know, owns it alone. I have no partners. Uh, I have no one to answer to but myself. So, doing this is really easy for someone like me because I don't have anyone to answer to, like a partner or anyone. It's just me. But it's still nerve-wracking. So, 
You, you have, do you have any idea how many times that I've recorded this? Like this exact moment, like, and I chicken out every time I hover over it? Oh my god. I'm gonna chicken out again. I'll, I'll come back to this. Give me a minute. We're back. I had to call my wife so she could hype me up. But here we go. We're doing it. I clicked the button. Am I still logged in? I'm logged in. Okay. You see it right there. <sighs> Woo! I did it. <sighs> there it is. Oh my god. Your order is complete. Whoa. Ugh. All right, we did it. Ugh. I gotta go lay down. Uh, I'll uh, update you on my blood pressure later. Ugh. So, the blood's back in my face. Uh, I got my, uh, my legs back underneath me. Uh, and uh, I cannot wait for the first negative video about the set. Uh, I can't wait for everyone to badmouth it, uh, seeing how I just put in a quarter million dollar order with it. Ah, <sighs> so, that's that. Uh, Mondays are my favorite, only when I don't have to spend $250,000 on magic cards. But, it's for the greater good for uh, growth of the business, because I'm just some greedy game store owner who should have just ordered three cases and been happy with that. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Peace.